Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this one, I'm gonna show you how I mix my drums, the kind of plugins I use and how I set them. Hope you enjoy. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to balance the drums. This is how it sounds like um, without any plugins and it not balanced. <laughs> You can tell um, basically it's all over the place. Snare's a little loud, the kick's too loud, the room is way too loud, or the overheads. Uh, so, how I like to start is I like to group them, kind of bring them all to zero. Uh, I might have some automation on the snare. Yeah, so, let's get rid of that for now. So, basically, I got hi hat, snare, sample, snare, high tom, floor tom, kick kick sample and overhead. I'll start, I usually start with the overheads. I got some stuff going on the drum bus. So I usually like to do some top-down mixing with that. So I will bring out a little bit of the high end and the 10K, kind of get some air in there. Take out some of the 3K just because uh, I don't like that frequency. And then I'll add a little bit in the 1.5 for a, a snare a little bit. And then depending on how, how the kick sounds, I might bring out a little bit more of the low end later. And then just the black box for some saturation. And then I love the distressor on my drums. So that's there. Yeah, so just kind of start with a dry overhead and then I'll bring in uh, the kick. Uh, once I kind of like those, I'll move over to the snare. Let's move to a section with the toms going. All right, so once I kind of get a good level, then I'll kind of start adding some plugins. Uh, start me up, great setting for it. CLA drums, obviously. And then I take out basically a bunch of low end. Uh, if 
there was a room mic, I would like to get some low end from the room, but there's no room track. So again, just adding some 10K, um, some 1.5 to get that crack on the snare, then I'm taking out some mud or some boom in the 600. That kick honestly sounds pretty good even without anything on it. Uh, but let's add a little something. Yeah, I like to take out a little bit of low end in the kick, you know, I don't want it to... Gotta be careful with your low end, so... Like 20, 30. Maybe even like 35. And then get a little snap in there. So I add a little bit nine and then some three. Uh, I don't like the 3K range except on like kick and stuff like that. Um, you got to put it back in somewhere if you're taking it out on like basically everything else in the mix. And then taking out a bunch of three, 300, basically 290. Well, let's just see what that is on its own. And obviously it all depends on the song, like maybe you want more of an 80s kick, um, then this wouldn't be the sound. Um, but I kind of like that. So that was a sample kick, and then this is a direct. I'm really basically just... I really like that sample, so I'd rather get all the good sound from there and then just get a little bit extra low end from the real kick, and then I don't need any of this. Don't want any of that bleed, basically. And then onto the snare. Yeah, so never be afraid to do some heavy EQ on the snare. Again, taking out some low end, cranking AK. Getting rid of that ring. Uh, you like to add in a little bit of low end, but gotta be careful because you can really muddy up the low end of the entire mix with that. This is a great reverb for snare. Um, just use a snare top preset. Bringing out a little bit of crack and high end with the uh, direct mic snare.
taking out a lot of bottom end actually, um, cause I'm putting it back in with the sample snare. Uh, there's like really no hi-hat in this song, so there's just a, it's just some more bleed. I guess you could use that as kind of like a, a side mic. Um, I didn't really add anything, let's see. Yeah, just add a little bit of shine, I guess, a little bit more. Kind of opens up the side a little bit. And then the toms. Yeah, nothing crazy on the toms. It's taking out a lot of 670 here. Adding in some 4,000, some 4K, some 10 for the low tom, or for the high tom, for the low tom, putting in 10. the bus a little bit. Yeah, so it's kind of how I like to do my drums. So we'll do the before. And that's how I mix my drums. So let me know what you guys want to see next, maybe vocal chain or some guitar stuff or a full mix. Uh, drop your comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. All right, see you in the next one.